Hi families! I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, grief and getting, letting your child experience grief and loss. I did get this idea from the book I'm currently reading, which is uh, Janet Lansbury's Elevating Child Care, uh, A Guide to Respective and Responsive Caregiving or Parenting. This is a book that I've really wanted to read for a long time and I am so excited about it since it really just confirms a lot of the positive things that I do in my daily classroom and this is something from the book that I learned and am going to kind of interpret it towards grieving your old routines of um, now that we're experiencing COVID-19 and maybe other types of grief like um, a child can be grieving when a new baby is introduced to the family or a loss of a pet, um, a loss of a toy, anything that it can be from a small to large scale. The biggest thing about grief is to allow your child to experience it in their own way within limits. Um, give them a safe space that they can go off and stomp their feet, cry, um, yell, scream, color a picture, anything that they can do that is not harmful to others or themselves to express themselves and get through that loss. A lot of us really want to help children feel better right away and it's okay, don't cry, uh, here's a ball, let's distract you from what's really going on. And that's one way to do it and that's okay. Uh, but think about them preparing for adulthood and learning how to go through grief. I know that for me, I am going through a lot of grief of my old routine and missing my old class and students and the only way that I as an adult can get through it is to experience the emotion and get to the other side and that's what children need to experience as well. It is in our human nature and instinct when a children cry, like when babies cry or little children cry to feel uncomfortable <laughs> and it's very uncomfortable but we need to be okay with it it's not failing. If your child's upset, you are not failing. It is actually successful. Your child is comfortable enough to experience their emotions in front of you to get through their grief and their loss because a loss of a routine is a big deal and it's okay to feel upset. We don't have to be happy all the time. When I say set limits, I guess the limits that I'm referring to is just nodding, not allowing hitting or biting to siblings, other friends, or even towards yourself. A lot of parents I see, they allow their child to hit them even lightly or bite them or whatever. No, <laughs> you are human and you have your own feelings and emotions too and it's, it's not okay for anyone to hit anybody no matter their age so we need to deal with that in the appropriate way which you can go back to my um hitting video previously after your child has experienced that loss and grief and has come out of it the other side by calming down and maybe even coming and talking to you a little bit about how they're feeling you can start to create a new sense of routine or a new sense of happiness like you know it's sad that we can't go to school I miss going to school too what can we do today that will make us feel better can we write a letter to our teacher can we draw a picture for our friends can we set up a zoom time for us to meet with our friends one-on-one. -on -one. Um, anything that gets your child excited about what's ahead, especially at this time, because you really do need those things to look forward to, and I think that's really important. But let's get through our grief first and allow it to come and go as we 
feel it. And that's all I have to say about that topic so far. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have anything to add. Your knowledge is just as valuable and I appreciate it. So I will see you later. Bye littles!